to my channel today. Um, today I want to show, I'm making desk calendars as uh, little gifts for coworkers. This was the first one that I'm making, I made, and um, they were from the Dollar Tree. They had them um, uh, in these packets I could, from Jop, and I could only find three of them but I did see Amazon has them. They have a magnet on the back, which I'm gonna pull the magnet off and everything. But um, this one I use, Men Menente, uh, the lavender collection, and I put it on three-dimensional, as you can see, and then the pages, and then I have it that it stands. So I cut it out that it looks like that, but you can see um, everything is dimensionalized up so this other one that I'm gonna do I'm gonna do totally different well not si similar but totally different <laughs> I love men Menente papers this is Seaside Escape and um, I decided that I'm gonna do the, the calendar as a six by six uh, and show you what I'm gonna do with that um, so I kept like thinking I pulled this paper out already and I thought that is sort of bright but it will give a nice background for it and I, li I like it it stands out so first this is a 12 by 12 this is in my stash I do not know what for paper it is I wasn't always saving the labels so I'm sorry about that but what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna cut this down to six down the center here and then I'm going to since I have this, I'm going to take this to three inches for later, and I'll show you why. I just want to keep this like that. Okay. And then I'm going to get my scoring board out, and I'm going to score the six or the 12 inch piece of paper here at six. Oops. I really need a bigger workspace. <laughs> when I saw these calendars, I thought, oh, these are cute. And these are like nice little gifts to give to someone that they can keep in at their office desk or at their home desk or even at their nightstand in their, their room. There we go. Now the, this um, three inch one, on the three inch side, I'm gonna score this at a half inch. I'm gonna score it at one and a half. And then I'm going to score it at two and a half. Okay. So that scoring is finished. Excuse my arm again. Okay. So I know this paper is right on the edge because of a six, but I want a margin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slivers off of it. I'm going to start on this side first. I think I'm going to take it down to a 7 8 And then I'm going to take this one down to 7 8 also from the bottom up. Because I do not want to get much of the design off. And I want to make sure that gives me a little bit of a margin. Let me turn this way. Yeah, it does. Maybe I should take off a little more. I don't want it too distracting though. 
Hmm. But I like the knots. That's why I want to keep it. No, I'm going to leave it where I have it. Go with my first instinct. So this Vante paper is like, um, I think it's 220 uh, GSM. No, 250 GSM. So it's really nice. Uh, I got it online with um, Lena, I think it was. She packages this, this paper up so nice. And she's very fast in shipping and everything. If I get to, I'll link her link on the bottom of my uh, channel so you can see. But she carries uh, 45, Graphic 45, and uh, she carries some other brands. I, I don't know what they all are, but I always usually look for the Mente because ever since it has a different smell to it too, the paper, I like the smell of it. Some people don't like the smell of it. I, I just like the smell of the paper. Now, I did get some from uh, Elizabeth Design, uh, the 12 by 12s, the other year. And that kind of made me nauseous, that paper. That one came from Australia. This comes from Poland, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is from Poland that they, the paper comes from. So it doesn't smell like American paper. Just to give you a heads up if you never had a Mente paper. But I do love working with it. I made many projects with it. They do sell the this in uh, 12 by 12. But I'm not sure if this is available anymore because I had this in my stash. And I want to start working on my stash because I'm getting a very much build up on my stash. Just going to use this tear tape to uh, take care of this. And one more down the center. Okay. Make sure that I got the right one. And I want to, before I start laying it down, I just want to make sure I'm lined up all over. That I have that little margin, which I do. Go around. Okay, so now I'm going to dissect this. So first thing I do is I take off the magnet on the back. Now it does tear the back of the backing off, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cut that anyhow. But I'm saving my magnets so because I repurpose a lot of things. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along this... Um, border because I want to save the border too and then you have the tablet yet and it doesn't match so I'll use this for a different kind of project I don't know it yet but we'll figure something out because I don't like wasting things and this will be easy to do okay so I have been working on Christmas cards little Christmas gifts and trying to keep myself busy. Uh, there's a, been a lot going on in my life. My mom is in for surgery for an aneurysm and I just had my mom and dad both for cataracts. So I have been very busy running to the hospital lately. So this will be underneath um, like this to hold this it lies flat to put it in a cardstock but as you can see that's why I cut that like that so it will lay flat and all I did was use a colored um, a shaped die to put this one on and hinged it with another smaller one of this to give it that look but um so I was using my message in the bottle and I did fussy cut some of these out already so I had a piece of scrap paper from a, another project so I cut this out fussy cut it and I'm going to um, like put it on dimensional so it's up 
and I'm gonna use um, Kingston's um, adhesive foam sheets. So I'm looking at, I might use the yellow. These are really nice. Uh, the foam is thicker than I expected it to be. Uh, so I'm just going to stick a couple in here. And just uh, to give it some more dimension. little one just for the peak and I told you I don't waste I always so I'm just gonna cut a wee little sliver like this to uh, fill in up here at the peak so everything is this on another project this uh, adhesive and these foam things don't tear um, I have some that they're very sticky and they the foam like tears apart and these do not uh, that's what's really nice about these tweezers because I'm going to lay this right on top of it. There we go. And I know I'm pretty well going to lay this here to cover this section, but I think I'm going to cut out a lace doily from uh, Diamond Press. I'm going to have to hit pause then and find that one. Now, I did cut off a sliver of this so I'm gonna take a, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna round this off. I'm gonna fussy cut this again into more detail. That way I don't have to worry that I uh, trimmed it to where I did. And I can put uh, dimensionals on that one too. See, but this pattern will show, but that's okay because it will make the flower look like it's protruding out more than what it is. Well, it might get more 3D, put it that way. That's why I like doing these uh, when I have extra scrap pieces. So I don't usually throw away my scrap pieces because I want to make sure that I have um, in case I come across a project that I'm making that I want to do. So, it is, I know Thanksgiving's coming up. I am trying to think of something to do for like a little hostess gift. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. And I'm trying to get pretty many of my Christmas cards made. I have a lot to make. And, uh, Clean up my stash. I'll never clean up my stash. I have a lot. <laughs> now look at that. I got that piece of paper stuck on there. And stuck on me. It got a hold on me. I start thinking of the song. Okay. There we go. I just love these little sceneries. I cut a star and then I use that paper that I got from um, 
the Dollar Tree, the scrap packs of paper. And then I use these. This came, this paper came with um, the bottle, message in the bottle from Tonic, the little um, crab. And I thought he's cute. I didn't know if I was gonna use both of these because I don't wanna put too much. But I love this dolphin too. This is from Message in the Bottle. Kind of want him jumping up in there somewhere in the water. I don't know if I want to bring him down in here. But I'm thinking that I might put the starfish in dimensionals also. So bring this down and roll that doily around. Okay, give me a minute or two and I'll be right back because I'll try to figure out how to put that doily on. Okay, so I caught, cut out the doily and that was from a Diamond Press Nesting Doily Set from 2022. I used this one to uh, put in the corner here. And then I ended up, this belongs to Message in the Bottle. I don't know if Tonic has this anymore. Sometimes they do different things. But um, cut out another cog shell. I, I love these because you can layer them and uh, create really cute. That's where the dolphin came from. And the little, the little, um, crab <laughs> so I'm just trying to judge here do I want but I'm think I don't want to have this doily hanging out too much but then again I don't want I think I might put the doily right there so what I'm gonna do is and I'm gonna keep it flat just gonna go in here like this because this isn't gonna get picked apart or anything I go up here right like that then I'm gonna take the back here and got, got a little bit now this I'm gonna because this has weight to it because it's uh, all the papers and, and it's like on a card. Okay, so I want it to put, maybe I'm gonna put it like this. Over a little bit, like that. Just wanna make sure I have it, because this crabs really quick, <laughs> this, uh, Glitter art glue. I was thinking maybe I should have him like on um, protruding out like this over here. So I'm gonna grab some uh, three dimensionals. These blue ones. He's kind of tiny. Just gonna pop a couple on here. I might pop one behind his eye. There we go. And then one on his tail. This is a real tiny guy. Like I said, these are Kingston uh, 
foam adhesives and they are nice. That was a good deal with them. I'll have it go over here like that. And then I'm gonna take and glue the little crab. I'm gonna like have him tuck behind the starfish. Just a little bit, way over. I want the boat to still see the boat. And then I'm gonna keep this one flat. This shell. I wanna turn this one this way. And I was thinking about having this under and then putting this one on top. So I went and backed it in the same backing as what the main backing was. Like this. And then I will put dimensionals on this one also. I'm going to use the brown on this one. I have the brown. Paper. Let's go do a little circle, I think. I'll tell you early, these really do stick. So um, what we want to do is make a, whoops, it would look like the letter M or W, W this way. So this is going to be a mountain. This is going to be a valley. And this is going to be a valley. Okay. So I'm going to burnish these quick. And burnish this one. Now, I'm just going to snip this a little bit off in the corner. I know it's not going to show, but it's just that I want to do it. And that way it's taken care of. And the next thing is, when I put this down, as you can see, I'm going to make sure I, I lay it flat and at the edge. So I want to make sure I secure this good. And I'm going to line the fold line to the bottom of the card. Uh-oh, this is a little bit bigger. Hang on, folks. Did not realize it. Gonna have to snip off, because we do not want it overhanging. I'm gonna take off a little bit here. This is a ticket in there. Okay. Okay, let's try this again because <laughs> I don't want no overhang on it. I'm gonna re glue this. Okay, 
Like I said, I'm going to line it up to the edge, this fold line to the edge of the card and bring it in a little bit because now I have like a 16th cut off on each side. And then I'm going to glue this one. And this is a barely art glue that I'm using, or glitter glue, I mean, I'm using. I had some tonic, and I cannot find it. And I like tonic, too. So I'm going to lay this flat and just put this down. Glue this. doesn't take long. It adheres real quick. And then I'm just going to hand deliver these to uh, people and uh, cute little dust toppers so now it will stand as you can see whoops and it makes a really cute gift and you're using up your scraps and stash and there's two different looks with um, desktop calendars that I made. And I just want to show you that you can do them really in any shape. And with those, now you probably, you can use this for uh, putting in a notebook. Oops. Because this really didn't match what I, anything. My other one didn't either. That had lemons on it. And bananas and watermelons. But they want the calendars. And I did see um, Amazon does carry these calendars, which I did not realize. So I put some in my cart because uh, I might do more of these for co workers and that to just give out this year. But yeah. Well, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. Um, this, this was a cute little project if you wanted something to do. And like I said, I love making paper projects. <laughs> so thanks for liking and subscribing. Really, truly, it is helping me. And I do appreciate it so much. We'll be back again crafting. Bye-bye.